this is High Activity. So today we're going to be doing a review on Northtown Jack from here in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a cross between Northern Lights, which is an indica, and Jack Hare, which is a sativa. Indica is more of a sedative, high, great for stress, pain relief, anxiety relief. If you have a problem staying asleep or going to sleep, get that indica. Sativa is going to be more of an uplifting, energetic, euphoric, active, talkative high, all of that. Something you smoked that, you know, you want to go clean the house, you want to go wash your car, you want to go hiking, you want to go on a picnic. There are side effects to everything. Side effect to sativas, it can give some people paranoia, uh, can heighten that anxiety because it's going to get your heart rate going. Indica's not good for people who are depressed. It can keep you in the house, keep you sedative. You know, people who are already tired and lazy, don't smoke it. Indica in the couch is how we remember it. MPX, shout out to them because usually they're making fire concentrates. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to roll a joint my way, aka Wiz Khalifa's way. Back in the day I learned how to roll this shit up watching Wiz Khalifa in a hot tub. <laughs> Honestly, one of my favorite ways to roll it, I think it is the fastest and you can stuff a lot in there without getting a lot of spillage. That's why I like it. We got these papers we're going to use here from Raw. One of my favorites. Uh, they got the king size papers with the tips in a pack. To be real, it's hard for me to roll anything without a filter now. Call it bougie, call it what you want, but I'm smoking good, baby. I like to get my paper ready, get my filter tip ready. So now I'm gonna grind this thing up. Put it down in there. I think I need a little more to grind, actually. There's a fatter joint I'm trying to roll up for you guys. Put this thing back on. Oh, shit. Butterfingers, I'm dropping shit. Fuck. For joints, I always like using grinders, even blunts, just because when you have really sticky bud and you're breaking it down yourself, you tend to get those trichomes on your finger, making it hard to maneuver that paper or that wrap when you're rolling blunts. Take the end right here, pinch it just a tad, twist it, twist the tip just a little bit. And when you are done, you should have something that looks just like a boat. Take your filter, you have to fold it and roll it. One, two, three, four. I roll it, making this little guy. I always hold it in my mouth. For now, we'll set it on my little tray inside of a tray. Y'all can see that, probably not. Take this little piece, put it in there. You hold the filter, I'm gonna put my content in there. The whole point for this is making sure it is even. This is what my brother taught me. Shout out big bro, Edric. I lick. <laughs> Just one side. The non-gummed side, I should say. Now I like to start in the middle because I can get a good tuck in there. Now, is just working on folding the tuck. You're tucking and pulling slash rolling at the same time. Now, with the tip of the boat, just pull that flap up a little bit, roll it on in under there. Start from the bottom and work your way up. So now you have this tip right here. Just lick and stick. I'm sure y'all heard that many times. Work your way up. Lick and stick. Lick and stick. Lick and stick. Then that little extra you got right there pinch it on up boom there's my joint for you easy quick and simple you feel me you feel me mm. Mm. huge nug jack is one of those strains that are known to produce huge buds so it's great to see that as prevalent Look at them trichomes, thick orange hairs, frost covering the whole bud full of THC and goodness. But still, it's not the best I've ever seen of Jack. Give it a solid eight. 
check out the close-ups. Today, as you can see, this butt is delicious, smells great. Oh, very piney. Mmm. One more time. Oh. Really citrusy. A little bit of piney. Not as piney as the Jack Hair. You can definitely smell the Jack in it. Still very citrusy. A little more sweet smelling than normal Jack. Hence that Northern Light. Northern Lights is a really pungent sweet smell to it. It's not like a really gassy, the OG type smell. That's that's a great combination. I'm about to give the smell a nine. I mean, really pungent, really sweet, really true to its parenting strains. Definitely, solid nine. I like to cut the tips and get the airflow so I can really taste the herb. Pungent, sweet, citrus aroma and flavor coming from this joint. Oh man, it is delicious. Oh yeah, taste is great. Now we'll have to see how it is after I light it. Damn, my ass forgot a fucking lighter. I'll be back. Whew. Okay, now I'm back and I got my lighter. Oh man, I can already taste the terps right now. Smells really good already. I'm anal about how I like to light it. I know a lot of y'all would do the little roll method. Forgot one more thing, my goddamn ashtray. Okay, now I will say this is one of my favorite things from Raw because I can just set this here and it's magnetic and now I have an ashtray inside of my rolling tray. So yeah, this bud is really good. It's really smooth. I'm not even coughing at all. Really good. For our high activity today, we'll be going to Red Rock Canyon. Red Rock has amazing, beautiful red rocks from Aztec sandstone. More than five million years ago, Red Rock Canyon was at the bottom of the ocean. Only reason why I know is because there's this big ass informational thing. <laughs> Shit. I'm out of breath. Like you know, it needs to be at the end of these goddamn hikes and trails. Ice cream? That, some video games, place to chill, an AC, a grill. Shit. Some water, maybe. They should put random ass fucking water fountains out here. Probably be some shitty ass water, though. They should just have like a pick me up spot. Like, all right, I made it to the end of the trail. Now, I don't want to go back. Y'all just going to have to give me a shortcut or come pick me up.
fire as fuck. Come on. Let's roll. Woo! Ooh, you hear the echo? <gasps> That ain't my blood. All right, so we made it to the top. Vegas is that way. Rest of the canyon that way. Beautiful view. Some high activities, baby. What the fuck? We got Superman up there. Is that the top? How'd you get up there? <laughs> this is gonna suck to fucking get down. I ain't gonna lie, I was kinda scared. Part is coming back down. Oh shit. You seen the superhero landing. I know you seen that. Alright, we made it out alive. Like my shirt. Shadow Evergreen. The effects for Northtown Jack were pretty good. But with it being the first high of the day, I was still pretty stoned. Started out really energetic. Had me thinking I could climb anything in front of me. I expected it to be more of like a lazy high coming down. I'd be tired, groggy. So that's all for today my friends tell me what strains i should review and let me know where you would like to see me go next have a little high activity all right had a good little hike seen a lot of cool shit. make sure you like and subscribe 